Today's lesson is Maya Hawk soaring to stardom. Hi, everybody. My name is Roger. And my name is Helen. And today we're going to continue with our unit on famous people for the month of September. And the person we're talking about this month is Maya Hawk. Maybe you've heard of her. If you haven't heard of her, maybe you've heard of her parents. She's the daughter of Uma Thurman and Ethan Hawk, who are getting on in years. So of course we have to turn things over now to the younger generation. Well, getting on in years, they're not that old. I think they're in their fifties, not even sixty. But in any case, she is the daughter of two famous actors, and that situation very likely opened doors for her, made it easier for her to get roles in Hollywood movies. However, that doesn't mean that you can remain successful in Hollywood because just having doors open for you doesn't mean that you can have a sustainable career in Hollywood. You still need. To prove that you are good enough, that you're a hard worker, and that you can take on the challenge. Right, but she's worthy of further opportunities. She's proven herself, even though her parents are famous and she's charming audiences all over the place. And we did talk about the fact that she starred in a Netflix series. Stranger Things. She was also in Little Women, which was a BBC adaptation of the novel, and of course, she's also been in some famous films, which we mentioned last time. So let's continue talking about her life and career in today's program. Let's listen to the first part right now. Hawk's artistic pursuits aren't limited to the silver screen. She also has a strong passion for music. In 2019, she released her first single, "To Love a Boy," which revealed her outstanding voice and songwriting skills. Subsequent releases, including Therese from her second album "Moss," show a surprising maturity and emotional depth, drawing listeners into her world of introspection. 大家好，我们来看第一部分中的单字 artistic， 它是形容词，意思是艺术的，有艺术天赋的，富有艺术性的。例如 ，the artistic bowl is meant to be looked at. 这个充满艺术感的碗是拿来欣赏用的。或者 ，Brenda's painting demonstrates her considerable artistic talent. Brenda 的画作呈现出她相当具有艺术天赋。下一个，我们来介绍名词 pursuit。它的意思是爱好或娱乐活动或消遣。例如。Learning foreign languages is a pursuit that can give you a sense of accomplishment. 学习外语是一个能够给你成就感的娱乐消遣。又或者是 Lance enjoys outdoor pursuits such as swimming and cycling. Lance 很喜欢户外的娱乐活动，例如游泳和骑脚踏车。另外，补充相关动词 pursue, p u r s u e, pursue， 它有追求。从事的意思，例如 ，Susan moved to New York to pursue her dream of becoming a dancer. Susan 搬到纽约去追寻她成为舞者的梦想。又或者说 ，After college, Dave pursued a career in acting. Dave 在大学毕业后从事演艺事业。接下来我们看到形容词 subsequent， 它有随后的或后来的意思。例如。While the author's first novel was a hit, his subsequent efforts were not as well received. 那位作者的第一本小说很畅销，但随后的作品就未受好评。又或者说 ，Ken's first film was very popular, but his subsequent films failed to impress. Ken 的第一部电影很受欢迎，但后来的作品却没有给人留下深刻印象。Maya Hawke's artistic pursuits aren't limited to the silver screen. She also has a strong passion for music. So here, the phrase "silver screen" refers to movies, anything related to movies. Specifically, the silver screen is the screen that a movie is projected on. But a silver screen has also come to be used to refer to the movies. So her artistic pursuits aren't limited to the silver screen. In other words, they're not limited to movies. Now. 
Pursuits are things or activities that you enjoy doing. For example, you may have intellectual pursuits if you enjoy reading, learning new languages, or learning about the sciences. But Hawk has artistic pursuits, which means that she enjoys doing artistic things. Which could be performing, which could be music, could be painting, doing sculpture, or whatever. So she's got these artistic pursuits. Also, pursuit could mean somebody is chasing after somebody else or something, like a hawk could be pursuing a snake on the ground, or the police are in pursuit of the criminal who's trying to get away from them. But in this particular case, we're talking about pastimes or things that you want to become better at. So she's got these artistic pursuits, and they aren't limited to. Movies or acting or the silver screen. She also has a strong passion for music. She likes music a lot, and we do see this quite often. Actors and actresses oftentimes try their hand at singing, at music, and sometimes the opposite occurs as well. Sometimes famous singers or musicians try acting. In 2019, she released her first single, "To Love a Boy," which revealed her outstanding voice and songwriting skills. So, in 2019, she released her first single. A single is just a song, a song that may be a part of an album, but if it's released as a song by itself. Apart from the album, then it's called a single. And when you release something, you put it out for the public to consume or to enjoy. So you can release a single, a song. You can also release an album. A politician can also release a statement, which means that the politician put out a statement for people to listen to. So in 2019, she released her first single, and the title of the single is "To Love a Boy." And this single. Showed everyone that she had an outstanding voice and really good songwriting skills. Now, moving on to the next sentence here, it says subsequent releases, including Terese from her second album Moss, show a surprising maturity and emotional depth. Drawing listeners into her world of introspection. So we're talking about a subsequent release. You could also say a follow-up or something that came after the first single. She had some songs or releases that came out later, and those included one song, "Terese," and that was from her second album, which was entitled "Moss." Yes, and this song showed a surprising maturity and emotional depth. So maturity is when a child reaches full adult age, when a child grows into an adult. That is one meaning of maturity. But maturity can also refer to the qualities of a responsible and sensible person. So in that case, maturity doesn't really have to do with age, or not necessarily. A child can show a lot of maturity when that. Child is very sensible and very responsible, so we can say that the child shows maturity. Here, Maya Hawk shows maturity, which is surprising because perhaps not many people realize that she was such a good songwriter. But she's able to show maturity and emotional depth, drawing listeners into her world of introspection. Introspection, of course, is the skill. That one might have, that a person might have, of looking at themselves and trying to figure out how they fit into the big picture and the world and things like that. What kind of person they are, trying to discover themselves. So indeed, people have been able to go into her world of introspection and how she interprets herself and the world. And maybe you can learn a thing or two by listening to her music. Okay, that brings us to the end of the first part of our lesson. Let's listen now to the second part. It's clear from her music that Hawk's life philosophy is rooted in authenticity and self-expression. She believes in embracing one's faults and struggles as a means of personal growth, and speaks openly about the importance of staying true to oneself rather than giving in to social expectations. The best way to communicate with the world is to be the most yourself, and then whether people like it or hate it, at least you are you," she said in an interview last year. 第二部分介绍动词 embrace， 它的意思是欣然接受或接纳、拥抱。例如 ，employees embrace the company's new telecommuting option。员工欣然接受公司新采用的远距工作选择。又或者说 
it is important to try to embrace the local culture when you move to another country. 当你搬到另一个不同的国家时，试着接纳当地文化是非常重要的。It's clear from her music that Hawk's life philosophy is rooted in authenticity and self-expression. So here we're looking a bit at the substance of Maya Hawk's music, and her music shows her life philosophy. So your life philosophy is basically what you believe to be the most important thing in life, and her life philosophy is rooted in. Authenticity. So, first of all, authenticity means the quality of being original, not false. You don't pretend to be somebody that you're not. You care about being yourself, being original. And her music or her life philosophy is rooted in authenticity. So, to be rooted in something means to be based on that thing or to develop from that thing. And her life philosophy is based on being real, being original. Authenticity, of course, is the noun form. To be authentic means that you're genuine, that you're what you're supposed to be. You're not fake. And、uh, we do use the word authentic when we talk about whether something is real or fake. Like, a, hey, is the painting authentic? No, it's actually fake. It's not genuine. It's not real. But yes, indeed, her philosophy on life. Is based on being authentic. It's rooted in authenticity, and also, it's rooted in self-expression. She thinks it's important to express herself in her acting and in her songs, and she believes in embracing one's faults and struggles as a means of personal growth. And speaks openly about the importance of staying true to oneself rather than giving in to social expectations. So this is kind of her philosophy about her art. She wants to embrace her faults and struggles. To embrace something just means to accept something. And in this particular case, lots of people don't like to face their problems. They don't like to face their faults. They don't like to admit that they've got problems. But hey, she thinks that、uh, no, we need to embrace those problems. We need to learn from them, to grow from them. So she embraces her faults and struggles. To embrace also means to give somebody a big hug. Right. So you can say to give someone a big hug by using embrace. You can also use embrace to say that you completely accept a particular belief or way of life. And for Maya Hogg, she completely accepts the idea of coming to terms with your own faults and not trying to be perfect all the time and not trying to win other people's approval. And she realizes that life is full of struggle. And that it's important to stay true to oneself, meaning to listen to one's inner voice. Basically, that's another way to say it. Instead of giving in to social expectations, when you give in to something, then you surrender yourself to it. For instance, a lot of teenagers might give in to social pressure, peer pressure. If they see a lot of their schoolmates or friends doing something, even though that thing may not be healthy. May not be good for their future. They give into that pressure and do it. Then they may have to face the consequences. So Maya Hawk is saying, "Don't do that. Stay true to yourself. Listen to what you believe in. Follow your own inner voice instead of giving into the pressures of society." And here's what she said in an interview last year. She said, "The best way to communicate with the world is to be the most yourself." And then, whether people like it or hate it, at least you were you. Of course, if you want to communicate with the world, you got to be the most yourself. You need to be yourself, and you can't pretend to be someone else. And then, whether people like it or hate it, well, at least you were honest. At least you were true to yourself. You were you. Now let's wrap things up by listening to the third part. At the tender age of 25, Maya Hawk's journey is just beginning. And her future looks bright, with her magnetic on-screen presence, beautiful voice, and authentic attitude. Hawk continues to charm audiences while following her own path. She's one to keep an eye on as she carries on stretching her creative wings to take flight. 第三部分，我们看到形容词 authentic， 它是指真实的或真诚的、可靠的、到底的。例如。
the collector owns several authentic Roman coins. 这位收藏家拥有数枚货真价实的罗马硬币。又或者说 ，Dan has been trying to write a cookbook of authentic Italian dishes. Dan 一直努力想写一本道地的意大利料理书。最后补充这个字的相关名词 authenticity, a u t h e n t i c i t y, authenticity. 它的意思是真实性格或本色，真实感，可靠性。例如 ，Sometimes the choices we make will reveal our authenticity. 有时候我们做的选择会表露出我们的真实性格。又或者说 ，I doubt the authenticity of this exaggerated story. 我怀疑这个夸张故事的真实性。At the tender age of 25, Maya Hawk's journey is just beginning, and her future looks bright. So, indeed, Maya Hawk is still young at the age of 25, and her career is just beginning. And based on what she has accomplished so far, it seems that her future career looks quite bright. Right, and we often describe someone young as being at the tender age of something. So she's still quite young. She still has a lot to look forward to, with her magnetic on-screen presence, beautiful voice, and authentic attitude. Hawk continues to charm audiences while following her own path. So yes, indeed, she's got a magnetic on-screen presence. If something's magnetic, of course, it attracts things. Like a magnet is magnetic, or of course, the Earth is magnetic. It's got the North Pole and the South Pole. Those are the magnetic poles of the Earth that produce the magnetic fields around the Earth that protect the Earth from the sun's rays and things like that. But、uh, she does have a magnetic presence on the screen, which means, hey, when you see her acting, you're very attracted to her, like a magnet. Right. So, aside from her magnetic on-screen presence, she also has a beautiful voice, and she has an authentic attitude. So, authentic, as we mentioned before, means being true to yourself, not fake, being original. As Roger had mentioned, authentic can also be used to distinguish something that is genuine from something that is. Fake, for instance, a lot of people who buy fake name brand handbags might save money. However, they're not getting the authentic product or the product that was made by the original company. So here, authentic is being used to describe an attitude that is genuine, that is real, instead of fake. So Hawk has these qualities, and she continues to charm audiences while following her own path. Right, so of course she's charming. So she's charming audiences. Charm here is the verb, and charming is the adjective. Indeed, she can make those audiences fall in love with her rather quickly. But she's also following her own path. She's not giving in to peer pressure. She's true to herself. She's authentic. She's sincere, and in the next sentence it says she's one to keep an eye on as she carries on stretching her creative wings to take flight. Ooh, interesting. Okay, she's like a bird flying in the sky. Her career is soaring. That's kind of a reference to the fact that her last name is Hawk. A spell with an extra e there, but of course, hawk is a bird like an eagle that flies in the sky and spreads its wings so it can soar in the sky and reach the moon or whatever. So yes, she's one to keep an eye on. If you keep an eye on something, you keep watching it in order to note when something changes. If you're a babysitter, of course, you need to keep an eye on the kids at all times because、uh, you know babies tend to get themselves in trouble. Right, and a lot of people also like to keep an eye on the stock market. To decide whether it's a good time to sell or to buy their stocks, and here people are keeping an eye on Maya Hawks because she is rising in her career, and we're using a metaphorical term to describe her rising career. She is stretching her creative wings. When you stretch your wings, it means you are becoming mature. As a bird stretches its wings to fly away from its nest, it means that it's becoming independent. It's going to To soar up in the air and become more mature. Exactly. So she carries on stretching her wings or unfolding her wings, and she's taking flight. And her career is well on its way. And we're going to hear a lot more from her in the future. And now we're going to hear from our Chinese teacher, Hanny.
各位同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天的文法重点。课文第一部分提到 ，Maya Hawk 在2019年推出首支单曲，展现了她出色的嗓音和作曲能力。而随后发行的作品则展现了出人意料的成熟和情感深度，吸引听众进入她的内心世界。文中用到 subsequent。来形容随后的、后来的，那还有用到 introspection 来表达内省、自省。我们分别来补充这两个单字的字首字根。好，首先看到 s e q u 或是 s e c u 或是 s u e 这一类字根呢，有紧跟、跟随。Follow 的那种意思。好，那么在 subsequent 这个字当中，它的字首 s u b 表示接近或是次于。那么字根 s e q u 是指跟随 ，e n t 是形容词字尾，合在一起 subsequent 就是形容随后的、后来的、接着发生的。好，那我们顺便补充两个有这一类字根的单字。首先来看看带有 s e c u 这个字根的例子，像我们可以用到 consecutive 这个字，它的字首 c o n 表示一起，那么字根 s e c u 是指跟随 t i v e 是形容词字尾。那么我们就是刚刚提到这个一起跟随嘛，我们就去想说一个紧接着一个一起跟随着，那会呈现出连续的状态。同学们也许就可以用这样的方式去联想 consecutive。它是形容连续不断的、接连的。接着我们来看到带有 s u e 这个字根的例子，像 pursue， 它的字首 p u r 是源自于 p r o， 表示向前或是在点点点之前。那么字根 s u e 表示跟随，那么一直跟随着目标向前迈进，应该可以联想到 pursue， 它有追求、追寻的意思。好，那么接着我们来看看 i n t r o 这个字首啊，它有 into。Within 或是 inward 等等的语义，表示进入里面啊，在什么什么之中，或者是朝内。好，那我们看到在 introspection 这个字当中，它的字首 i n t r o 表示朝内，那么字根 s p e c t 表示观看 ，i o n 是名词字尾。好，那我们想象朝向自己的内心观看，应该就可以联想到 introspection， 它有内省或是自省的意思。好，那也顺便补充几个有相同字首的单字，第一个是 introduce， 它的字首 i n t r o 表示朝内或。是进入，那么字根 d u c e 表示引导，往内引导，应该就可以联想到 introduce 有引进。带入或是介绍的意思了。好，第二个补充的是 introvert， i n t r o v e r t。好，那它的字首 i n t r o 表示进入， v e r t 表示转身转动。同学们可以想象一个画面哦，当你看到这个某个场合有很多人，然后就马上转身，或是说把话放进心里面，不敢表达出来，用这样的方式，也许就可以联想到这个 introvert 是指性格内向的人，性格内向者。好，那么以上时间重点整理，我们来回顾今天单词吧。Artistic. Among the remarkably artistic works in the museum are several paintings by Rembrandt. Pursuit. Joseph enjoys writing songs in his free time as a creative pursuit. Subsequent. After the first meeting, subsequent discussions were held to complete the agreement. Maturity. Clara's wise decision showed a high level of maturity for someone so young. Embrace. Although he was nervous about changing schools, Mario decided to embrace the opportunities it would bring. Magnetic. Brooke's magnetic personality makes it easy for her to make new friends. Authentic. The author's poems are known for their authentic voice and unique style. Discussion starter starts now. Here's our discussion starter for today. The question is, what do you think has been the biggest factor in Maya Hawke's success so far? I think the main reason for her success is the combination of her connections, the fact that she is the daughter of two famous actors, and her own innate talent. Because without a combination of these two things, 
It's really, really difficult to make it in Hollywood. Well, I think the main reason for her success is the fact that she has famous parents. There are lots of people out there who are talented and charming, but of course, if you have famous parents, it's a lot easier for you to get your foot in the door, and I think it's an unfair advantage. Well, everyone, today's article has come to an end, and I sure hope you enjoy reading along with us. I am Helen. I am Roger. See, See you, you next time. time.